Welcome back to Las Vegas and CES Media Day 2, where we saw vacuums with robotic arms, AI-powered phone gimbals, solar roof tiles, and even more. So the first major event for me was a Samsung keynote, and to nobody's surprise, it was all about AI. Starting with their home AI system, which is powered by SmartThings, this centralized platform automates household tasks and provides real-time updates on pets and home security. They also showed off their AI-powered TVs and home appliances. Both of these can be integrated with existing smart home devices, and a lot of the new smart home appliances have centralized AI touchscreens, voice recognition, and personalized experiences tailored to each user's habit. So after the Samsung keynote, it was time to shift gears and explore all the tech over at Pepcom. Now Pepcom is another media preview event, this time with a lot more tech brands, and it's hosted over at Caesars Palace. So looking at all the smart home tech, we saw Pawport, which introduced their smart and secure pet door. This combines a ton of smart features along with a focus on security. Next up was Anchor, who showed off the robot mower and a robotic vacuum with a removable canister that doubles as a stick vacuum. The Dreamy booth showed off their pool cleaner and a vacuum that has the ability to climb over small obstructions like thresholds. Roborock had one of the most standout products thus far, a vacuum that features an arm that can pick up objects off the floor, preventing them from being sucked into the robot. Now moving on to wearables, I stopped by the Aura booth and discussed the new features of the Gen 4 Ring. Then, right next door was Gab, who actually makes my oldest son's smartwatch. I checked out their latest updates and kid focus tech. Now over in the realm of renewable energy, Jackery was showing off the new solar roof panels, which integrates directly with their whole home battery system. Now rounding things out, I talked with Nomo, which is a company that's focused on senior care and aging in place. They offer smart home solutions that are targeted at your aging loved ones. The iFixit booth showed off their new battery powered soldering iron and various toolkits. I spent way too much time geeking out with Eric. I did stop by their Remarkable booth and they were showing off their colored e-ink notepad. Now I originally thought this was going to be kind of a gimmick, but when you actually use it, I can see how useful it can actually be. I love my Supernote e-ink notebook. This thing definitely takes the cake. And finally, I talked with the team over at Flick which already makes some of my favorite smart home buttons. They showed off their new Flick Duo, which has dual buttons and custom gesture control using their accelerometers. I'll be talking to these guys tomorrow. So that's it for Media Day 2. Stay tuned for tomorrow, which is the first full day of CES.